welcome to my channel and welcome back to my beauties today is going to be a hair tutorial so thank you all for tuning in I, today I'm going to be doing a little braided protective style I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do yet so I hope it turns out good but the main thing that I want to talk about in this video today is the Rev Air blow dryer. So I'm going to be using my Rev Air blow dryer to straighten my hair so that I can make this protective style sleek and gorgeous. If you've never heard of the Rev Air reverse air blow dryer, where have you been? Clearly, you're new to my channel because I have two videos giving you a full breakdown on this dryer and its benefits and how to use it. So if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check the description box down below or click this little icon up here and go check those videos out. Today, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on how I use it. This is just going to be something quick and simple and I just need to get this Shush together so let's do it so I am starting with freshly shampooed and conditioned hair to do this I have used the pattern beauty shampoo heavy conditioner and I'm also going to use the leave in y'all make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to give y'all a full updated review on the pattern beauty hairline since I have been using it now for almost a full year so y'all can get a full understanding if you haven't tried this uh, system out yet you're you definitely want to stay tuned for that video so first things first I am my hair is actually is it's dry it's gotten dry I shampooed it this morning and it's the afternoon so it's dry now so I'm going to actually part it out and I'm going to re-wet it and moisturize it I have put nothing on my hair at all I just rinsed the conditioner out I haven't put any leave-in or anything so I'm going to go ahead and part my hair out into four big sections and moisturize So as I'm parting my hair, I'm using the comb to kind of create the part, but then I'm detangling my hair using my fingers as to not cause breakage. Now that I have my hair sectioned off and I'm looking crazy, I'm going to start with some It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In, and then I'm going to go back with the Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner. So that's two leave-ins. And then I'm also going to use the Curls Hair Growth Oil to kind of seal everything in before I start using my dryer. I'm just going to refresh my hair just a little bit with some water. This is just plain water in a misting spray bottle and I'm not getting it soaking wet but I am definitely getting it damp. I'm just coating my hair with those products I told you about. Uh, the It's a 10 leave-in has a built-in heat protectant because even though the reverse air rev air blow dryer does uh, not cause as much heat damage, you still have to put heat protectant on your hair. Even if you're not going to blow dry your hair, heat protectant is important to protect against even sun damage. And on this very first section here, I used the high tension setting with no heat and honestly the no heat was by mistake but I still got a good amount of stretch from the no heat setting and then on the rest of my hair I did go and use the high heat setting so if you do see a difference in one side to the other that's kind of why but as you can see I still got a nice piece of stretch there awkward thumbnail shot so this is the first section again with the high tension no heat setting and I'll be right back with the rest all right so my hair is dry um, 
a quick little length check it's definitely growing you guys I have not seen my hair straight in a while so let's comb it back real quick and see how my length is in the back can you see So my hair is definitely growing. All right, you guys, so now that I have my hair nice and straight and soft and stuff, I am actually gonna go off camera and I'm gonna give myself like a little slight trim. My ends are a little crispy. So I am gonna take a little bit of this off off camera and then I will be right back to show y'all how I'm going to style this. Hopefully by then I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. So stay tuned. All right, you guys. So I'm back with freshly trimmed hair. I hope I didn't cut too much. But that did need it to go. So it definitely feels a lot better. It's still nice length, so I'm, I'm happy with it. So now we're going to style. I have, let's see, what do I have here to style? I have some bobby pins, my big tooth comb, a couple of little scrunchies, and some braiding hair. I have the color 1B, and then I also have the color 33, I believe. I think this is 33. And um, I'm going to mix them together because y'all see these roots, so I'm going to mix it. And I think we're going to do like some type of a jumbo braid. So I'm not going to talk through it because I don't know what I'm going to do. Sorry. Sorry. But I hope it turns out good. So just stay tuned. So I'm starting by parting my hair from ear to ear and creating two big subsections. So I'm going to start in the back and I'm just going to brush my hair all the way up into like a ponytail right at the occipital bone. And I just used a regular scrunchie. I haven't put any gel or anything on my hair because I didn't want to. I was going to be getting it braided, like professionally braided later. So I didn't want to have a whole bunch of product in it. And then take this next section and put that ponytail like right there above that first ponytail remember when you're putting scrunchies and stuff on your hair you don't want to make them too too tight now I'm going to mix those colors the 1B and the 33 and then that front on this first braid I'm going to have majority of the black hair just because that's where my roots are really really showing and it took me a minute to kind of get my fingers right and working but essentially I just braided that braiding hair into my natural hair and as I'm braiding down I want to try to tuck my natural hair into the braiding hair so that my ends are protected and this is a true protective style Alright, so the first braid is done. Now I'm going to basically do the same thing to the hair in the back. I added a little bit of black hair to that one. And I also split the hair into three when I braided the back one just so it would be a little easier since I couldn't see. So I split the braiding hair into three. Then I split my hair into three directly up under the braiding hair and just did a normal three strand braid.
Now I'm just taking the tail end of that very first braid and wrapping it around the back braid. And I'm just going to pin it until it's in a nice shape that I like. And literally that's it. Two braids and a few bobby pins and I got the style. And of course, no style is complete without slaying those edges. And the edge control I use has a little bit of a tint to it because I have thin edges. So it gives me the appearance of fuller edges. <laughs> crazy all right you guys so that's it I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial or I hope you all enjoyed this video make sure quiet on set take two all right but take three um, mom, mom, no, 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 no. okay all right you guys that is the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you have never used the rev air and if this is your first time seeing it i hope that this has inspired you to go look into it especially if you're a natural girl because it is gr a great blow dryer for those of you who just don't like the traditional blow drying method if that's too hard for you it's super super easy to use and it's less damaging on your hair than the traditional blow drying method so i stand for my rev air make sure y'all check it out the link is down below i want to give a special shout out to my patreons remember if you want to join patreon all you have to do is click the link in the description box and before i go i want to make sure i give a special shout out to one of my youtube friends check this out bruh Y'all make sure you head on over to Mila's Mind TV and tell her that Be Stoke Styling sent you. The link to her channel is in the description box. And I will see you beauties next time. Peace.